Hey everybody, Zealous Talon here with the review for the uh, Power Ranger Samurai Beetlezord vehicle with uh, Green Ranger. So, <clears throat> right off the bat, this little setup here runs contrary to my original anticipation for how these guys would be handled. I figured that the uh, Beetle Tiger and Swordfish would all be released as one set to make the uh, the Dai Tenku, and then that would just merge with the Shinkano, but they are releasing all of the uh, auxiliaries as you could say with uh, as their own unit with a uh, with their corresponding uh, ranger so in the in the mega ranger mode that they've introduced for the samurai line which is it's okay um, the green figure he really doesn't do anything except move his head so but you're not getting it for him um, but yeah, the the other sets are uh, the uh, the Tiger Zord with the Red Ranger is already out. The uh, uh, Swordfish with the Blue Ranger uh, will be coming out soon, and uh, they have just announced uh, the Squid uh, with uh, Gold Ranger. So, moving on, um, the figure can uh, ride on the Beetle. Um, the Beetle has a, a peg on uh, this platform back here. You just plug. Uh, plug his foot into and then you uh, just kind of fiddle him into position until the, his other foot rests on this little platform here and uh, it doesn't work so well really but it kind of does and then you got him riding the beetle and as you move the beetle forward the head spins just like on the uh, Kabuto origami uh, uh, differently from the uh, Kabuto uh, there's no heat in disc for um, any of the auxiliaries. Uh, really doesn't seem like there's going to be heat in discs for any toy in the line, except they might do so if they ever release the Ushi, uh, just because that integrates into the weapon, and uh, taking those off is a part of the Samurai Hollow combination. But <clears throat> uh, because there's no disc, uh, the, the, the beetle's body is just very much more streamlined and you still get the ridging uh, the detail as if the disc was there but it's not it's just uh, painted on there uh, the legs are also much uh, broader uh, in width than uh, uh, on the original Kabuto origami also the uh, the top horn is already in its extended position for the uh, Daitenku you can see the eyes there uh, it doesn't push back in at all but uh, other than that, it's a pretty faithful uh, recreation of the uh, original toy. So um, I, I do really like this one. It's uh, it's a lot more interesting than I originally thought that it would be. So um, I, I just think the head spinning is just fun. It's just fun. <laughs> but of course, the main reason to get this is because it combines with the Samurai Megazord, a.k.a. Shinkano. So... The combination has been altered on this, like, quite a bit. Um, really, so far, it looks like the only... If you get the box for, like, this or the Samurai Megazord, even though the Swordfish isn't out, it'll show you how they combine. And they changed the combination for that one as well. Really, the only one so far that we've seen that remains faithful, um, as far as the auxiliaries go, is the, the Tiger. Uh, it remains pretty close to the original combination so um, but just getting on board with this we're going to take off the Samurai Megazord's helmet and you can just store that back inside the leg here and then we'll uh, proceed to rip off the beetle's head and take the body there's a handle uh, just in the back end of it that'll fold down that allows you to use the body as a shield and then the beetle head the lower horn splits open as you can see and reveals a ton of laser cannons and that'll just clip onto the Megazord's head and you have the Samurai Megazord with the beetle attached I have no idea what they're official name for that mode is. I have no intention of watching the show. I'll probably find out on a message board in probably about two minutes because that's just how up to date I am. So anyway, it's a very different combination from the original figure. Um, 
originally the the body if you haven't seen the Shinkano combinations originally the body remained attached to the back of the beetle so he had this ungodly tumor sticking out the back of his head like he's an alien wannabe and the legs would detach and clip onto the arms which they can no longer do but I really like the way that they executed this. It's it's different. It yeah, it's not faithful to the show, but it alleviates the fact that the samurai Megazord did not come with his heat and disc shield. So it gives him a shield and the the broader legs on the beetle just really add to the shield effect. Um you don't have the back heaviness. It's just it seems like they make better use of it. And really, I just I just like how broad the legs have become now because it sort of looks like a solar shining emblem effect sort of thing, which is just fun. So, and of course, the connector port is still there for connecting to the uh, tiger. Uh, the legs are removable for the battle wing combination. So, but uh, of course, I won't be getting into that until the swordfish is released and in my possession. So. Very fun setup. I, I really do like this combination, especially since uh, with this version, on the original version of the of the Kabuto, they had another face in here, and you had to hide the Shinkano's face, uh, and then plug it on. There was already a face inside because it wouldn't all fit. But with this one, they didn't put a face in. You still use the actual Megazord face for it, which I think is an improvement. I like that. And uh, actually, uh, on one picture I've seen. Um, there is one guy who likes to, because this is not pegged in on two pegs now, it's just on a on a clip, you can actually rotate the top horn up and give him sort of a unicorn effect just so it's not sticking out that far, but uh, that's just a matter of preference. I like to keep it at, um, as accurate as possible. So, uh, again, thank you for watching and uh, take it easy. The uh, Beetle Zord vehicle, very fun. Get it if you have the Samurai Megazord.